is it okay if I share the hacking process with my YouTube audience so they can learn from it as well? Yeah, I have no problem. Thanks. It's impossible to share bug bounty hunting on real targets because of ethical concerns, but not today. This app was developed by my brother and I helped him patch security bugs. How helpful was this exercise? Oh, it was quite a blow to me because what I know about security isn't, isn't big. Um, I only know XSS. And you guessed it. He gave me full permission to share with you the process and disclose the vulnerabilities I found. Hello there, what's up? The Hackerish here for another video about ethical hacking. Those of you who follow me know how much I love teaching by practice, and my brother was probably the first student. I remember teaching him how to use burp suit when he was 13, but it was too soon for him. Instead, I introduced him to the world of programming. I remember teaching him Python and he was so hooked. He's now 17 years old and he has just finished developing his first fully fledged web application in PHP. It was time for me to quit replicating projects you find in courses and to step in something new, something personal. The idea uh, came to me one day was while I was talking to a friend of mine. So I said that's the perfect opportunity for me to develop my skills in web development and programming uh, in general. Cool. I was honestly proud of him to see how it turned out after months of self-learning and practicing on his own. When he asked me to test it for security vulnerabilities, I was more than happy to help out. And I'm going to take you with me along the journey in the process of approaching a real web application and finding bugs. Think of it as bug bounty, a bug bounty session on a real target. The first thing I did was explore the target. It's a digital workplace for gamers who want to exchange game accounts. I explored the application for about half an hour and I was really impressed by the amount of features available. My brother had asked me questions about some technical stuff in PHP, databases, hosting, etc. But I honestly did not expect he would have such a complete web application. Brother, I'm very proud of you. Users can create accounts using an email, a phone number, and a password. They can sign in using their credentials to see game offers for different games, like Free Fire, etc. Besides, there is also a reporting system to flag suspicious and um, spammy items. Obviously, users can create their own offers with uh, the ask price, a little uh, title and a description, and it doesn't stop there. There's also a forum available where users can create topics, engage in discussions, and report bad behavior. They can even um, request to be a moderator and access additional features. The app doesn't have a front end to enumerate API endpoints, so time to brute force some directories. And little I know, new features kept coming. It seems that admins have their own dashboard that offers additional functionalities such as creating moderators, um, accepting new requests, announcing messages in the forum, managing game listings, etc. Moderators have their dashboard. Um, I guess they might be managing the forum topics. As a penetration tester or a bug bounty hunter, here I see a really wide attack surface. And I'm going to start poking around with each feature. As the core business of this web application is to trade game accounts. Buy and sell the game account. That's the whole idea behind Game at all. I went straight to it. I love striking when it hurts the most to help my clients understand the greatest risk from a business point of view. My client in this case happens to be my brother, who I hope will be interested in joining the hacker's crowd once he witnesses how cool my job is. The first thing I noticed was the reveal phone number button. It turns out that the application was hiding the phone number on the client side. There was no server call to fetch the specific phone number. Can you think of why this is an issue? Pause the video and uh, think of an answer.
Well, I can scrape the offers page and collect usernames and phone numbers. This is usually done easily with something like uh, Beautiful Soap, which is a library in Python. Since some usernames will potentially contain real names of users, the application would be exposing personally identifiable information, or PII for short. I think my brother was coding this piece of JavaScript late at night because he forgot to add additional equal signs, so when you try to hide the phone number, uh, it wouldn't hide. I, I stay up some nights. <laughs> you have to stay up sometimes to complete something you, you still need in your project. It's good to uh, to dedicate your time to develop something you love, but don't forget to to sleep as well. Well, yes, that's a good, that's a good advice. <laughs> when testing for session management vulnerabilities, um, I noticed that requesting an authenticated URL path with an expired session redirects it to the login page with a parameter named NP that contained the authenticated URL path. Yes, I see you smile. A potential option redirect, right? Well, I tested with a fully qualified domain name and after a successful login, I got redirected to that domain. I did not see that come in. I have never encountered it. So I never knew it was there. Open redirects can be leveraged to achieve many things. So let me know in the comments below what would you do to achieve the highest impact possible. Out of curiosity, I looked at the vulnerable parameter in the source code because I had access to the source code as well. And it seems that the only place it was vulnerable was conveniently on the login feature. Sometimes developers just forget to validate user input where it hurts the most. The full session is available for members of this channel. Watch the entire hacking from start to finish and support the channel along the way. In the next episode, I will share with you some vulnerabilities that when chained together could lead to a full account takeover. Subscribe to get notified when it comes live. As always, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.